Gear Trainer, Kurt Hartman here, owner and head trainer of Pro Fitness Training with this month's installment of the video series. Recently I had some requests on workouts on the stall bar wall and how to get into a human flag and building up to it and what it takes. So I'm going to show you a few of the steps that I worked personally to hit it and then show you some ways that you can help you progress into getting that human flag as well. Initially it's going to take a lot of core strength and core stability. So um, what I like to work is a lot of hanging leg raises. And these are, the stall bar wall is an excellent place to do these. So you can climb up it, just getting used to this position here, locking yourself in place, and just going for pure leg lifts. I like to pinch my legs together and point my toes away. So I get that nice straight line there, really building the core, and going as much as I can, really strengthening my abs. Now for beginners, you can start just lifting those legs. Okay? For the last, uh, for the human flag, you're going to need to be building those obliques a little bit too because it's that side stability that you're going to work on. So you're going to want to add a little bit of a rotation to these ab exercises. Tucking up and in, side to side, and same thing with leg raises. Going all the way up and over. Really strengthening that trunk of the body. From there, you also want to be working on pull-ups. Again, you can do these on a pull-up bar or a stall bar wall. I feel it's a little too close to the wall, but you can do them nonetheless. Hang here. Pulling yourself up, strengthening those shoulders. Once you start feeling a little comfortable and you want to really start adding on to these and making them a little more challenging, the next step is after you're starting to play with your hand positioning on the human flag. Now for this, you want to get that bottom hand locked in place, locking that shoulder and all your joints aligned so your body is really just held out on that position. Your top hand is going to be used as a pulley to pull yourself up. Now initially when you're doing these, it's going to be really quick. You're just going to be jumping up into the motion. So it'll look like this. You'll just get your hands in place, and you're just going to be jumping up and back down. Jumping up and back down. Starting out nice and easy, building into it. Once you start getting a little more comfortable with that, you're just going to change your positioning on your feet. One leg will go straight, the other leg will go tucked. Up and over. Again, I'm pulling with the top hand, pushing with that bottom hand. Really holding the wall. Once you start feeling comfortable, obviously alternating your legs on that, you start going for a little bit longer in those holds. Getting in, locking yourself in place, up, and holding it steady. Another thing that I really liked that really helped me start getting into this position was I'll start from a, or, uh, excuse me, I'll start from a handstand on this tall bar wall and let myself down nice and slowly, working the negative contractions. If you're not good at handstands, on the floor, do not do them on the stall bar wall, okay? Start out slow. Again, hand positioning on this is extremely important. I get a hand locked on bottom, one hand up top. From here, I'm gonna kick up into a handstand. And it's all about getting a good grip, I don't wanna fall. So from here, I get in place, pull myself up, and as I'm doing this, I'll tuck my hips and slowly let my legs come down as slow as I can. Really keep my body nice and tight. These are some of the things that I worked on. I know they're going to help you hit your human flag. Let's go to this video's workout challenge. All right, guys, here it is. This video's workout challenge is going to consist of three body weight exercises. All you're going to need for this one is a timer. You're going to set that timer for 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. The three exercises are a mountain jump to push up, an X up, and lunge split switches. They look like this mountain jump to push up. Push up position, hands under the shoulders, you're going to jump your knees all the way in, all the way back, push up, in, out, push up. From there, X ups, laying back, body in X. You're going to breathe out as you reach your hands and your feet up together, working those abs. The lunge split switches look like this. You're going to be dropping down into a lunge without letting that back knee touch the floor, just alternating those lunges back and forth. You're going to be doing these for time. So once you complete all three exercises, that's one round. You're going to go for as many rounds as possible. And as soon as you can no longer complete 40 seconds of work on any of the exercises, you are done. Post your rounds on the Facebook wall. I look forward to hearing from you. Now, obviously, guys, I make these videos because I care about you and your health and your fitness and about you living a healthier, happier life. For those of you that are members here, you can always come to me with any question you have, whether it's reassessing your goals, making sure you're staying on track, going over food log, or setting up times for personal training. I'm here for you 100%. And for those of you that haven't come here yet, I honestly don't know what you're waiting for. Come on in, get your free one-on-one, -on -one, your free assessment, your free week of classes, 
and get on the right track today. There's no better time than now. I promise you it'll change your life forever. You'll be feeling better than you ever even thought possible. Call today and set up your time.